I'm Gabrielle Shirley here with Scott Reynolds from PewterReport.com. Scott, let's begin with the quarterback shuffle. Jameis Winston, we heard from him in the locker room today. He was benched because of turnovers. Yeah. What did you take from what he said to us? Well, really, Jameis seemed pretty humble, and we've, we've seen him be humble a little bit in terms of the suspension where he missed the first three games of the season. We saw the very first day of training camp after he addressed that for the first time, that suspension, him act pretty humble. But right. Gabby, I think the thing that's different about this situation is he was suspended at Florida State but got his job back. He was suspended for the first three games this season, and everybody pretty much knew that he was going to, at some point in time, become the starting quarterback again. Ryan Fitzpatrick didn't have a great first half against Chicago, and all of a sudden, boom, here comes James Winston in the second half. But this is the first time he's ever been benched due to his play rather than something off the field. So we're going to find out if this humbling by James Winston will really serve as a catalyst for his career to finally get the message of stop killing your own team with turnovers. Speaking of turnovers, the Buccaneers' defense, they've struggled to create turnovers. Yeah, yeah, they really have. The takeaway department's been awful this year. Seven games now, one interception. I, I can't remember a Buccaneer team that has had this few interceptions at the start of a season. It's just ridiculous. I, I think, too, when you look at, at just the takeaways, too, because Levante David is someone who can force fumbles, and, and he's got a, a knack for that. And he forced one against Cleveland. But that was technically a turnover on downs because the ball went out of bounds. So that doesn't count. The Buccaneers have been good on fourth downs. That was one of those plays against Baker Mayfield. They're, I think, 0 for 3 in the last two games, opponents are, in getting fourth down conversions. So the Bucs are getting a turnover on downs, but they're not getting those field position changers, the, the fumble recoveries, the interceptions. Tampa Bay has gone four straight games now without a takeaway on defense. Yes. The only one that, that occurred was in the Cleveland uh, Browns game on special teams when Anthony Altair knocked the ball loose from Jabril Puppers and that helped the Buccaneers win that game. But on defense, they're 0 for 4 in these last games and that's got to change at Carolina if they want to win. Cam Newton has really been taking um, his game to the next level as a runner and a passer in the red zone. Christian McCaffrey is a weapon. Carolina's offense is pretty dynamic. They've got to do something to get the ball out and and help the offensive side because right now the Buccaneers are minus 13 in the turnover margin category and that's why they're losing games right now they're beating themselves and they're not helping themselves out on the defensive side by eliminating some of those those turnovers on the offensive side and, and making up for those now Scott I am spitballing ideas here but why do you think the defense is struggling is it because you know, we had some new guys in the secondary, rookies, that don't want to get beat by perhaps stepping in and trying to make an interception, or would he, is it inexperience? I think part of it is inexperience. You don't see a lot of rookies come in the league, especially at the cornerback or safety position, and take the world by storm. I mean, Derwin James is doing that in San Diego as a strong safety. Marcus Peters did that at cornerback a couple years ago with Kansas City. But typically, it takes defensive backs a while to get – used to playing in the NFL and of course their first concern is not get beat is is to to cover your guy rather than get the ball so ball hawking kind of is, is, is a skill that develops and I think Carlton Davis in time can be that player for the Bucks. but I think also too switching over from defensive coordinators from a guy that was making things too complicated for the secondary and Mike Smith to one who's now simplifying it in Mark Duffner I think is going to help and you're going to see some of those interceptions come in the second half of the season. But hey, no time like the present. They need some starting on Sunday in Carolina.